So the following are the duration times and minutes of all missions flown by a space shuttle. Use the given data to construct a box plot and identify the five number summary. So we're going to do this with StatCrunch. So open this up and StatCrunch. And here are the values. These should always match up. So I'll always take a second look just to make sure. Looks like they do. And go to Stat, Summary Stats, and Columns. Select the variable. This default that's selected is generally all we need. So I'm going to click Compute. And recall what the five number summary is. It's the minimum. They don't put them in order here. Be nice if they did, but they don't. So it's the minimum. Maybe I can squeeze both of these in here at the same time. So the minimum, which is eight. And then Q1, which is eight, six, six, four. Q2, or the median, which is 10,010. Make sure I read that right. Yes. Q3, which is 11,424. And then the maximum, which is 11,858. Now we need to construct a box plot. Now we could kind of just use our eyeballs here to see which one it is. I'm going to show you how to do this on StatCrunch. Because in practice, this is what you would be doing. You would create a five number summary, create a box plot to sort of analyze the data. And not just be picking from a multiple choice question, right? So go to graph and box plot. Select the variable. I'm going to draw these horizontally because that's what they have. And we can use fences to identify outliers. The only changes I'm going to make, and press Compute. OK. OK, it looks like they did not use outliers in this one, so I'm going to go back and remove that. So you can always go to these once you've done it, go back and edit. And we'll take out the outliers option. Okay, let me get nice and thin looking like theirs. Okay, here we go. So, what distinguishing characteristics are we looking for? Okay, so we know it goes from this is around eight to almost twelve thousand. So, which one of these? I so said the only one we can eliminate is A. We know it can't be A. Now let's look at the maybe this midpoint here. If you hover your mouse over the, um, if you've forgotten what it is, although it's right up here, we're at a midpoint of about, median, sorry, of about 10,000. So which of these has a median of about 10,000? So, and it's right in, it's pretty much right in the middle of our box. So that removes D and B. And so it looks like C is our only contender left, and that looks pretty close. You can always click on the the little plus sign and make this graph a little bit bigger. Let's see. Nice. 